Well, Marjorie, it's been a while since last we spoke. Uh, how have things been in the past six months? Well, uh... Actually, from the last time that I spoke to you in front of the camera, uh, my landlord evicted me. Uh, because I wouldn't shut the fuck up about being, uh, his girlfriend. And, uh, now I'm living in this co- cohabitat, uh, retirement place. I don't know which was more offensive, the fact that I got kicked out of my home, or the fact that, uh, society deems me old enough to share lodgings with a bunch of senile old fucks. Uh, it's pretty offensive, if you ask me. It's Mr. Snoop. He's never been married. It's probably a homosexual. And that's Rose. Apparently she comes from some fancy pants rich family. What chances, I think. She likes to pass out in the pool. Not very safe for someone of her advanced age, if you ask me. And this is Greta. She just sits here watching the Fireplace channel. I keep trying to tell her that it's not an actual show, but uh... I think she's too far gone. And there's Priya. She doesn't speak any English. No English at all. Priya dear, how have you been? Oh, I've been okay. Just reading my books. Not a lick of English. And then there's Seth and Maggie. They're extremely fucking old and they're always fucking. And I have reason to suspect that they're swingers. I mean, just look at that fucking bed. Disgusting. Yeah, and that good-for-nothing skank Maggie Bennett died. Supposedly she picked up some exotic disease that's been going around. Well, I guess that was, that's what happens, you know. They say mask up for a reason. They also say don't, uh, stick foreign objects in your mouth. You don't know where they've been. I know that she's dead, but you might also want to burn that bed. There's no telling what's been in it or on it. And just knowing the fact that she's been in it for God knows how long is bad enough. It's just out of curiosity, uh, do you have any idea who might be getting this room next now that she's gone? If there's any way at all you could clean up the trash of Evergreen Harbor, I'd be eternally grateful. And I'm not just talking about the little affair next door. There's a bunch of assholes roaming those streets and, uh, the world be really, really better off without him. Well, Mr. Hayashi and me might not be a thing anymore, but, uh, at least I still have one friend. So there, there's that. And yeah, Seth just hasn't been the same since Maggie killed over and died. I guess he's not used to swigging with only just himself. Look at this place. It looks like it's the set of a porno movie. Sleazy bed. Pedals. The stage lighting. Oh god, I'm sitting on one of the chairs. I need to go douse myself in iodine. Sleeping at here at night is the worst. The weird noises at night, the creaks and the groans and... I spotted black mold in almost every bathroom in the place. And don't even ask about the basement. No one's supposed to be renting the basement rooms, but you know what I say. It's located next to the morgue, so it's very convenient if someone happens to while they're living there. That's all I'm saying. All in all, I don't think the building is at all structurally sound. And I need to find a new a new place very very soon. So as can be expected I've been spending an awful lot of time here at work lately. Look one of these magic faggots just zapped into my office. Get out! No kids allowed in here! I'll be honest with you I'm really just playing Farmville. But it beats being in the uh, Alzheimer's factory. That's for sure. 
I've been spending a lot of time, more time than usual here at work at the library because I honestly cannot be bothered to go back and deal with all the sights, the smells, and the sounds of the nearly departed. It's too depressing. All in all, I'd have to say that Potty Gardens is a pretty shit place. And, uh, I don't think it's really worth the cost of living here. But at least the government's paying for it and I'm not, so hey, there's that. But if I'm gonna be perfectly honest, I'd let, rather live under the overpass than live here. It reeks of death. I feel like every day, closer and closer, I feel like I'm being jinxed by these folks. I just don't like it. So all in all, I'd say my uh, current living experience is complete shit. And uh, I never thought I would say this, but uh, I think I'd actually live next door to the Lilith Fair than uh, share lodgings with a couple of senile assholes. I'm doing the only sensible thing I know, calling my realtor and getting the fuck out of this place.